I know, we have already discussed hot, cold and connectable observable and if you haven't watched the video episode 7, then you can watch from the card or the description of this video. Namaste everyone, in this video episode we will be creating observable using another static factory method called interval. Guys, if you are bored creating observables every week, then let me tell you this is going to be the last factory method that we will cover through which you can create observable. So let's write observable. Observable equals observable dot interval. And as you can see, it takes a period and time unit, which is just an enum. So observable dot interval will keep emitting at the specific time interval. Let's pass period as one and time unit as time unit dot seconds. That means this observable will keep emitting every one second. Okay, add our subscribers. and print whatever we get. Let's run. And it prints nothing because observable.interval needs to maintain a timer to manage this behavior. So it runs on a separate thread. And if you check the interval method, you can see that it takes a scheduler instance. Right now, just know that observable.interval runs on a computation scheduler, so we don't need to pass anything. We're going to discuss this in details later. Okay, let's come back to a problem. Let's call the pause method that I have defined here with 5000 milliseconds. As we need to somehow pause the main thread to check what exactly going on. Okay, let's run. and it prints from zero over the period of one second. Now what do you think? Is it a cold or hot observable? Let's do a test. Pause the thread for 2000 milliseconds for now and add another observer quickly. and pause the thread for 3000 millisecond. Before we run, what do you think will happen? You may think that observer 1 will get 2 emissions and observer 2 will miss those emissions. So let's run and check. But what happened? Observer 2 here gets the emission from the beginning. It looks like the timer was reset for the observer 2. Even if you had thousands of observers, I mean you should not do that. All of them are going to have new emissions. So observable.interval is not a hot observable, it is cold. But wait, is there any way you can make it work like a hot observable? I leave this exercise to you. And the hint for this exercise is connectable observable. After you are done with this exercise, do share it on Instagram or Twitter with the hashtag RxTava all in one. And don't forget to mention at AmroidDroid. We will feature the first three participants to all our social pages. So if you have any doubt, you can comment below or message me on any of my social handles. And if you like today's video episode, then don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell icon so that you don't miss our videos that we upload every Sunday. It's me to here signing off. Thank you for stopping by. See you next Sunday.